Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Connor Terrio. I'm a BIM technical consultant here at Gray Tech. In today's short video, we'll be going through some Bluebeam tips, um, editing content in Bluebeam, how to improve your productivity. We'll be going over uh, three of my favorite Bluebeam features. Uh, things like editing text, um, copying, pasting, cutting, deleting, erasing elements uh, on your PDFs, erasing content on your PDFs. Um, things, little things that you might need to do to a set of drawings um, to save you time from going back into your native program, whether it's Revit, AutoCAD, um, making the changes in that native program and then recreating a PDF. Some of these small things you can actually just edit within Bluebeam uh, and speed up um, these, these processes. So those are some of the tips and tricks we'll take a look at. Um, without further ado, let's jump into Bluebeam. Okay, so the first tool I'm going to show you here for editing PDF content in Bluebeam. Um, some things, for example, that you might notice on a drawing set might be things like spelling mistakes. So right here, uh, right in our title, nice and, and bold for us, um, for the purpose of training in this demo, is we've got a spelling mistake here. So we've got a couple other ones in here. Uh, but let's address this one first. How can we fix this spelling mistake without having to go back to our native program? At the very top of your screen, you should see edit. The very bottom of that edit menu you should see PDF content. So this is where we're going to be spending much of our time here in today's short demo is under editing PDF content. And the first thing I'm going to check is the first tool we're going to show you, sorry, is um, edit text. Let's select on edit text. And this will allow me to come in and fix that spelling mistake. Pressing escape twice, that should exit the, the command. Now, if we're looking a little bit further, you might notice some other spelling mistakes. For example, here we've got face of concrete missing a C. So let's come back up here to edit. We'll go PDF content, edit text. And we can click anywhere in here, right? And we can make any, any changes to this text we need, but we're going to come in, we're going to put a C in there. There we go. Press escape twice. Okay, so that one's fixed too. Okay, so that was the first one, editing text. Okay, so you have the ability to do that directly in Bluebeam, which is um, pretty handy. Um, the next one I'd like to show you, PDF content. So we've got a bunch of different options in here. I'm not going to necessarily go through all of them. I'm just going to touch on some of my favorites and maybe the most commonly used. Um, but you've got options here to erase content. So you can go through, you can, you can erase content from the PDF. Simply make a window over top of it. Boom, it's gone. Another good one here, snapshot content. So let's say building information here. We'll take a snapshot of that. Okay, you can see it, it keeps the original there. But what that allows me to do is copy. So control C on my keyboard and then control V and I can paste that. It took a snapshot and allowed me to copy and paste it. Back up here under edit, PDF content. You can choose to cut content. Uh, let's see, cut content. Okay, cutting. Looks like it did the exact same thing as erase, right? But now we can just press Control V and that will paste it. Come back up here under edit, PDF content. You can choose to select text. You can select all text. And we've got um, tools here for marking a redaction or applying a redaction. We've got add and edit 3D content here as well. Uh, so the last one I'm going to show you here is just um, selecting text. We're going to come in here. We're going to select some text. We'll come here into the design team. We've got a few different, this, this tool takes things a little bit further, right? So you're not just selecting the text. What you're doing is it allows you to select the text, but if you right click, you've got even more options here. So you can come through, you can highlight that selected text, right clicking, highlight that selected text, press escape twice here. If we select that now, this shows up just as a, a typical highlight markup. So we can come down here, expand our markups list, and we can see uh, that it just shows up as a typical highlight. And so that is 
really no different. We can delete that. Uh, really no different than just going up to tools, markup, and highlight, or H for short form, highlight. Okay, if you've got um, the, uh, I, excuse me, um, highlight, there we go. And we can go through and we can highlight different elements. Okay, so multiple different ways to do things. All right, so now if we come through, we'll go back up here to edit, PDF content. I'm going to select text again. Uh, let's go here, Blue Bean Builders. I'm going to select this text. We're going to right click. Again, we got other options. We can choose to underline, squiggly line, underline, uh, strike through. Uh, we can replace this text. Um, or you can go look up at the very bottom here. We got look up. So if there's a term in your document uh, that you're viewing in Bluebeam that you're not use that you're not uh, you don't know what it means, uh, you can look it up and it'll open it up directly in Bluebeam. So it'll open up that web page directly in Bluebeam, which is kind of nice. And then uh, the other option there at the very bottom, last one here, is search. So this will search uh, the document. It's not actually going to look up what Bluebeam Builders is. It's going to search the document and find every instance in this Office Set 17 page document um, where they find Bluebeam Builders. So in that case, we only saw one. Um, let's come here. We'll go point maybe. And we'll search point. There we go. We got a few other instances. And then you can just cycle through these options here under the search menu. All right, so again, another way you could have activated that search menu is coming here on the right-hand side of this, uh, of this profile and using the search tool here. So we, all, we did those tools. We activated those tools and those commands by coming here to edit PDF content. Okay. Hopefully you guys learned something today. Um, if you guys have any questions on any of the features that I've displayed for you today, um, don't hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn. You can see my, um, my LinkedIn account there should be up on the screen now. Um, other than that, um, take care, good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.